Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a full face of trying new makeup. A bunch of things I picked up during the Sephora sale as well as some things that I got that are new in PR that we're gonna throw on our face, play with, and just have fun today. Don't know what I'm doing for my look, but it's probably gonna be something pretty basic. You guys know my typical looks. Kinda wanna recreate with some of the products that I have and see how it compares to what I normally would wear. I saw this product come on Sephora Canada in the US. You would have had this for a while. It is the Dr. Jart Sika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. And this has an SPF of 30 in it. So this is gonna be the first step that I put down. And it is this green color corrector that's supposed to take the redness out of your skin. I have a lot of redness, so we should be able to see if this truly works. I'm going to start with one side of my face so we can kind of compare how it corrects the redness in my skin. So just gonna start off with what's on the cap. That is honestly quite the difference. Hopefully you can tell on camera, but I can definitely tell just how even this side is compared to this. Like, holy cow, <laughs> this is so cool. So I would personally use this product just as is, I wouldn't even put on any foundation, maybe a little bit of concealer on days where I want something super light and fresh, especially if it does this well at correcting the redness in my skin. Like it almost looks like a tinted moisturizer a bit just because it's adjusted to my skin color and very little redness. I still see a little bit here, but compared to this side, wow. Now I wish I would have picked up the big size. That's been happening to me a lot lately. Just getting these little minis to test out and then I want the big size. This 15 milliliter was only $25 plus the discount because it was a Sephora sale. What do you guys think? Can you see the difference? I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to, but it is so cool. Get some SPF plus color correct the skin. I almost didn't do the other side of my face. I'm just gonna quickly do that, but I am very impressed. If this wears well, underneath foundation that will be good too but personally i would just wear it as is we are testing out a new foundation today too it is thicker like a sunscreen so i'm not sure how this will lay underneath if you keep layering product because it is on the thicker side as is but it's beautiful i never realized how much redness i truly have in my skin until you put a product like this on. I have a new face primer to try out, but I'm actually gonna save this for another video just because I feel like layering a primer on top of this product specifically is going to be a little too much. I just don't feel like the combo will be good. The Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. It's the dewy one, up to 12 hour wear, supposed to prep, smooth, and hydrate. If you've used this, let me know, but I'll definitely save that for a future trying to make up. Now we are going to go into foundation. And this is the new one from Givenchy. It is their Prism Libra Skin Caring Matte Foundation. I have the shade 4N20. Hopefully this is a good match today. I love the packaging of this. It is so stunning, the frosted glass and just the cap. Just a really beautiful, elegant packaging. Comes with a pump. This is the consistency. It's pretty thick. very heavily fragranced notice that right away and i picked a pretty good match i've been getting lucky on honestly with foundation matches and matching myself online this wouldn't be a fresh tan color for me this is like a faded tan almost basically my natural skin tone is the shade. Just doing this portion of my face, you can see how much more coverage that has than that Dr. Jart product in terms of correction, because this totally covers up anything. So very good coverage. I'm actually glad I have that SPF underneath because this is quite matte. So if you have dry skin, you're definitely gonna need to do some heavy skin prep. Side by side, it's looking pretty good. My face is definitely a little bit more glowy just with that base underneath than how it would look like on skin that's just not moisturized. It is definitely matte. This just might take a little bit to dry down, but right now I like how it looks. And then Clay Depot sent over a couple concealers. He said they were new on Sephora, but it might just be Clay Depot is new on Sephora Canada. So I have the shade four almond and three beige. I'm just going to take these out and see which one will work. That is four almond and that is three beige. You can see the beige is very pink on my skin. So we're going to go with almond. I don't typically like stick concealers. I don't really use them that much. 
This color is perfect. Easy to blend out too. Has good coverage, looks natural. I'm always worried that stick concealers are just going to be too thick. But I really like the formula of this one. And I'm going to set my under eye with a little bit of the Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder in Cupcake. Cherry Blossom was out of stock. Cupcake does have a pink color to it, but not as pink as Cherry Blossom. So that's why I bought this during the sale, just to test out. I already know I love the formulation of this powder. So we're just going to use a little bit to set. And when I set with powder, it kind of takes away that hollowness underneath my eye. So that's why I really like setting the under eye area. You can just see the trough more on my unset eye. I can tell the foundation is starting to mattify and dry down on my skin. FedEx just got here. I have some products from Bare Minerals and I was just about to set the rest of my face. And this is a powder foundation. So I'm gonna use this. <laughs> I call that perfect timing. They sent light 20, medium 32, and medium 30. So we have a cool, warm, and neutral. I'm assuming I'm going to be the neutral. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro 16 hour skin perfecting powder foundation. It has skincare in it, I guess as well. One's too pink, one's too warm, and the other's too dark. I might just lightly with the dark one, dust my face. So just did a little bit of that powder to set my face. Definitely added a little more coverage. Darkened me ever so slightly, but not too bad, honestly. And now I'm going to go in with what I was really excited for, and it's the new palette from Fenty Beauty. You can use this on your eyes, your face. I'm gonna be using it for both things, and there's also two highlights in here as well. So really beautiful shades. You guys know I love these sort of tones all over my lid, so that's what we're doing today. <laughs> I'm gonna take the shade Private Island, and I'm going to be putting that all over my lid. I might actually wanna go a little bit darker than this. I usually use this shade Caramel Cutie from Fenty. I wanted to try out this tone though. Yeah, I definitely wanna go a little bit darker. I'm gonna go in with Caramel Cutie. The shades are really warm on me and just not used to it. I thought they would be a little bit deeper on the eyes. I might even have to go in with that one. Try out shade three. Take a little of the lightest shade and just kind of blend around the edges. It's definitely warmer than what I'm used to. I'm gonna take the deepest shade in the palette and darken my lash line. Let me know in the comments if you use Fenty bronzers, what your shade is. Curious to know. For whatever reason, I really like the formula for bronzing, but I had a little bit of an issue for my eyes, just blending it out. And just the colors, just slightly off for eye colors for me. They work fine just in the crease because I did that the other day and I really liked it, but all over the lid, they're just not my favorite tones for that kind of look, I guess. Kind of hard to explain. I'm just going to put some mascara on my lashes. Then for lashes, I have this pair from Kiss. And I actually really wanted to do this one makeup look and she happened to be wearing these lashes. So I saw that I had those lashes and just wanted to use it today, but I still want to do this look. This is on Doja Cat and this is for the Grammys. She's wearing these lashes from Kiss. They are the Lash Couture Masterpiece One of a Kind Luxe Lash and they're hand woven faux mink lashes. This is the style right here. They looked beautiful and wispy on hers. So I wanna try them out today. These are a new kind of lashes from Kiss, and you guys know I love my Kiss lashes. Best drugstore lashes for me. But how gorgeous is that look? I wanna do that so bad. It's all Pat McGrath though, so that would be pricey to replicate. It's so pretty. These are super long lashes. See how much I'm gonna need to cut off? Like, these are long. I'm just gonna pop on these lashes. Super pretty. The eyeshadow tone is growing on me really bringing out the color of my eyes. These lashes are so curled up. I'm gonna have to press them together once they dry down a bit, but very pretty, very fluttery, very wispy, my kind of lash for sure. And the band wasn't too big. I was worried it was gonna be super thick and heavy. It is a black band, thicker band, but not like lily lashes kind of big. I really like them. Just gonna apply some brown water, to, brown water. <laughs> That'd be disgusting to my waterline. <laughs> Just going to apply some brown eyeliner to my waterline, and then I'm going to do mascara on my lower lashes. Those are the eyes complete. I'm definitely liking them more, the color and with the addition of the lashes. Definitely coming together. I'm going to take Private Island and use that as my bronzer. Normally I use 
Caramel Cutie. We're gonna try this one today. And I'm just going to take a hint of Caramel Cutie just to get that tone in. Considering we layered every shade on my eye. We're starting to come together, come alive. For blush today, I'm using this one from Sephora Collection. It is in the shade Flirted Up. I wanted this because of Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, Makeup by Ariel. He used this so bright. And I already knew I love the formula of these blushes. I have one already that I highly recommend. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. I can't wait to use this in the summer. I'm going to take the lightest highlight in the palette and I'm gonna put a little bit in the inner corner and I'm gonna use this to highlight my face as well. I love Fenty highlights. I'm not a fan of this particular formula. I do think it works better as an eyeshadow versus a face powder just because it's a little bit heavy. It sits heavy on my skin. I've tried this twice now. It's the third time. I'm going to use it today though. Just grabs a bit. Do you see that? Hopefully you can see that. It's just not very flattering, the formula. It's like this was intended to be an eyeshadow, not a highlight formula. The bronzer was originally a bronzer that you could use as eyeshadow. This one feels like the opposite. I just don't care for it. I have a couple different lip products that I want to test out on camera. I'm going to try out these ones from Burt's Bees first and then finish with the Charlotte Tilbury. I already tried these and love these. This is the Gloss and Glow Glossy Balm. I have Winning in Pink and I have Chai Time. I'm gonna swatch them both on my hand. And these kind of remind me of the Makeup by Mario lip serums just in terms of their shine and kind of consistency, transparency. The Makeup by Mario ones are definitely more watery, I'd say, but these are similar. If you're looking for a drugstore option, they're still different in my opinion. I'm actually gonna use this light pink one. Winning in pink. It's probably gonna look exactly like my lips right now. I love the smell of Burt's Bees lip products. They all smell so good. And this is just the perfect everyday sort of color, but I do want to line my lips and do something a little bit different. But I still wanted to show these in a video because I wore this yesterday, found the similarity between the Makeup by Mario lip serums and wanted to let you guys know. Just an easy everyday wear color. And then a few of you wanted to see these Charlotte Tilbury lip colors. This is the shade Velvet Nude. I'll have the exact name of this down below. These came out around Valentine's Day, these shades. They have the kisses on them. I'm just lining my lips with the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencil in Travis, and then going in with that Velvet Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. But tonally, this would be a better fit. And then I'm going to finish off the look with the new Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray with Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water. It's supposed to be more hydrating. Still an all day wear, has that addition of Vitamin C. Putting Vitamin C over sunscreen just feels odd to me. I like to finish off the face with this. It smells good. The spray is a little wonky on this one. That goes like that. I'm back. Here is the completed makeup look. I feel like my tones are a little bit off, but it's not going to take away from the quality of the products or what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to summarize everything. My thoughts, kind of like a hit and miss for this try new makeup, I feel like. We're gonna start off with the Dr. Jart Sika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. I love this. I can totally see me using this every day and just setting with powder, a little bit of spot correction with concealer would make this an everyday go-to product. I can see the hype behind this and I'm so happy it finally came to Canada. I would definitely pick up the mini if you wanna test it out if this video goes up during the sale like I did, but I'll probably be purchasing the full size. This will be a great addition into my summer makeup routine. So I'm very happy that I picked this up during the sale. You worked out. The new Givenchy Prism Libra Skin Caring Matte Foundation. I think it's really pretty, honestly. Up until the addition of the Bare Minerals powder on top, I liked it more. This changed the color, added some coverage when I was a fan of how this was drying down on its own. For me, with normal to slightly dry skin, right now I'm pretty normal, this was mattifying enough without setting it. 
if you have dry skin, you might come into some problems because I had that Dr. Jart underneath and that really hydrated my skin. So I think those with dry skin might find this a little too matte. When I initially swatched it on my hand, I thought it was gonna be too matte for me. But those with oily skin, I think you're gonna really like it. It's definitely a matte foundation and it's pretty perfecting right now with the addition of setting spray and all that. I do have some glow to my skin, but overall, I like how this went on. A little bit thick, but I'm definitely gonna be testing it out some more. But as I said earlier, I liked it more without the addition of that Bare Minerals powder, which for whatever reason, sometimes this is hit and miss with me. It works for some days, doesn't in terms of their powders because I've used them in the past. Sometimes they can just look a little bit heavy on my skin for whatever reason. A powder that I love is the Huda Beauty Loose Baking Powder. I went through a whole one of pound cake and I wanted to pick up the cupcake one because of that pink brightening undertone for underneath the eyes. I definitely feel like it does that. With the tones I have today, it's not something that I would reach for. I would definitely go more warm. So just the combination of the products I use today, it's just not a tone that I would have reached for, but I love the formula, it does do the brightening. I've worn this since I've got it and I love how it looks for my everyday sort of makeup. And I'm very happy that I went with the cupcake color instead of the cherry blossom. So good that it was out of stock at the time because that would have been too pink for me. This is the perfect amount of pink to give me that brightness I'm looking for without being too pink and obviously pink on my face. So this is perfect. Love cupcake. I can see the hype in that. The Clay de Peau concealer. I noticed this is also a correcting concealer. So one had that pink color to it. So if you're looking for some color correction, you might like number three. Number four was really nice on its own, even though it's a concealer and a corrector, it matches my skin pretty good that I wouldn't have to put anything else on top. And with the addition of that pink powder, it kind of worked out perfectly, honestly. So I like this, it hasn't creased. It's probably the nicest stick concealer that I've personally tried, honestly. I haven't tried too much Clay de Peau Beauty before, so we're gonna have to continue to test that out and see, but so far so good with that. Feels nice and hydrating even though it was in a stick and it does give me the coverage that I like, no creasing, which I was worried about. So far so good. I've been a little bit back and forth on this palette, honestly. This is the new bronzer palette from Fenty Beauty. I love the formula of the bronzers as bronzers, the tones for eyeshadow, I like it now. <laughs> now that I have like, how many did I layer on my eyes? I used all of the shades on my eyes, but I layered the middle three just to get the color that I have now. And the only thing that I really don't like about this palette are the highlight formula. It's very chunky and it sits heavy on the skin. For eyeshadow, it's fine. I would spray a little bit of Fix Plus next time and it would just enhance that shine. But as a highlight formula, not for me. Just personally too thick, too heavy, not for me. Gonna have to play around with this some more. As of right now, I wouldn't purchase this again. I would just get the Caramel Cutie color that I've hit pan on and really love. But in terms of uh, all over palette, this isn't something that I'm one, gonna reach for for the face, two, gonna reach for for the eyes because I had to pack so many colors to get this color. But I did really like it when I just did a little bit in the crease and used this as an eyeliner the other day. So it just depends on what I'm gonna do with it, honestly. So yeah, had good days, had not so good days. It's up in the air for me on this one. So I'm gonna continue to play around with that. But as of right now, I wouldn't purchase it again, but I have been enjoying it some days. So hopefully that helps you out decide. It's not a need for me, honestly. The Sephora Collection Blush and Flirt It Up, love this color. Would probably pair it with a different, tone going on, but I love this color, this formula. So pretty, good price point. Get it during the sale for 30% off and I pay full price because I have before. These lashes from Kiss, the Lash Couture Masterpiece ones, beautiful. I'm definitely gonna be using these again. I really wanna recreate that look in those tones. I want everything, unfortunately, that they were using. It's all Pat McGrath though. So I'll try and recreate it with what I have. Then for lips, I tested out the Burt's Bees for you guys. These are beautiful if you're looking for a drugstore alternative to the Makeup by Mario. They're not as hydrating and wet though. They do have a very similar vibe if you're into that. So I'd recommend those. The Charlotte Tilbury Kiss Lipstick, beautiful formula. It is a very comfortable matte formula on me. The color is very different from what I normally go for. For me, I would probably add something a little bit more beige in the center to brighten this up a bit for me reaching for this color again. 
but I like the combo of this with the eyes. I think it's really pretty. And then for the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray with the vitamin C, it's confusing to me <laughs> still with applying vitamin C, especially after I've put on SPF, because normally I put my SPF on after my vitamin C and to set my face with that, I just find this could be irritating in the future for me. So this isn't something that I would buy again, honestly. And the sprayer on mine is just off. It's like spraying in two separate sections. I don't know if you can see that it shoots more at the bottom more at the top and then i'm like missing the whole middle of the face <laughs> this was honestly a miss for me i love urban decay all nighter i use it on my wedding i would just stick with the regular one for me personally do i feel more hydrated in that one kind of <laughs> so i see what they mean about that i still would stick with the original so that is my first impression review on all these products i hope you guys enjoyed this video this look how it turned out it was still fun for me to film even though it was a little bit hit and miss but it's always nice to try out new products and just in time for the end of the sephora sale so maybe you can find some things that you want to pick up or it can help you save some money in which case you're welcome <laughs> i know i need to be on a low buy after this sale because of the amount i spent you guys will be definitely seeing that part two sephora haul that i've been talking about that'll be coming up soon unfortunately probably after the sale just because everything's taking forever to ship now at this point thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps out my channel if you've used any of these products let me know in the comment section below i'd love to know your thoughts whether they work did it what you think about these products i would love to know so thank you again for watching don't forget to subscribe before you leave hit the bell if you want to be notified of all my future videos and i will see you guys in my next video which will probably be another sephora haul